Hi, good evening. I am so tired of the high versus me engine situation and the new jeans versus lit like copying discussion. Me Hinjin is right. She's correct. I'm going to argue why. And the fact that there's a bunch of videos trying to argue why Illit isn't copying new jeans and having like at least five different lists of varying things that are used to say that they are, but like aren't. That's what they're arguing that they aren't. Just shows how much, how many similarities that they are and how much there isn't enough like to di differentiate between the two groups, you know what I'm saying? How long dehydrated? One second. Water. I look grossy right now. I do not care. I'm off today. We're vibing. Anyways, so. This is 5th gen, okay? Now this, we're gonna say 4th gen because 4th gen was doing stuff. It's like umbrella, background, yada yada yada. So we're just saying like Espa, I've, It's C. Those are basically the only ones that really matter from 4th gen. So, um,. Hive is right here, right? You have new jeans. Right? Right. Okay. Little musical note. Vibes. Okay. They are the... Leaders in their concept for the entire fifth generation. So we're going to say this to the next maybe five to seven years because Gen 4 was actually very short compared to the other generations. Honestly, Gen 4 felt just like a prelude for Gen 5 and for the bigger three to just sort of like find their footing. Gen 4, the highest, like the most popular groups in the Gen 4 were mostly from mid-tier companies with Itzy being the leader from the gym, like, from the big three. But anyways, um, uh, let's see. Let me see this shit. No? Whatever. And this is Illit, so, like, musical note. But it's a cherry. Anyways, um, uh, so, like, When a new generation starts, there's usually three types of concepts that are like the main concepts of the generations, right? Now in Gen 2, it was different because every group had like a specific flavor and a music style. Uh, a flavor and a music style was Gen 2. Gen 3, each company, it's like each company like divided the concepts and sort of organized the artistry, like the representation of artistry within K-pop when it was organizing the industry. So in Gen 3, each company sort of had their own concept. I don't know why it's an A, but whatever. AC. In Gen 3, each company owns a concept. So like JYP had relatable and cute. SM had like the uh, electronic and like experimental but like so sort of like normal and then like YG of course has like hip hop and stuff like that so like like anything that was cute related in Gen 3 came from twice especially during 2017 to 2018 when everybody went for American Appeal and changed their concept to Badass or like Girl Crush. Twice was the only place you can get cute in late Gen 3. Um, let's see, and then like Gen 4 was weird. Gen 4 was weird. Gen 4 was like... Gen 
Gen 4 was like the beginning of Gen 3 without the chaos from the end of Gen 2. And with more money. That's what Gen 4 was. But instead of like unforeseen incidents happening with the idols, it was unforeseen incidents happening with the uh, head of the companies and the management. And like Gen 4 had a lot of projects that didn't go that didn't go through, didn't end the way that it they that they thought it would end, and or just didn't finish. It, it, like Espa is even a current example of how they had to like reconfigure their concept after Lee Su Man left because he was highly involved in their original concept and how grand it was. Like Espa is still a group that is very dramatic, yes, but their grand energy originated from uh, from Lee Suman's really dramatic concept, although I'm really happy they changed that, like, Earth's recycling song or whatever. That was, that's, that's crazy. That's wild. That's cur that can't be the same man that gave us hope. That cannot. Anyways. This is not even important. Let me erase this. Second. But yeah, no, like, Gen 4 was one young. Like, that's homegirl. Gen 4 was one young, because Gen 3 expanded the industry and gave us all the produce shows, right? IOI should have stayed together. Homegirl could have went on breaks to promote with WJSN. IOI should have stayed together. That was a produce group, or at least should have stayed together for one more year. The problem with the earlier produce groups is, like, the thing about IVE is that IVE had their identity set right from the beginning. IOY's identity was solidified the best in Very Very, which was their last single, which felt like a debut single, which will always make that group feel like they ended too early. And then a lot of the groups after that didn't do so well. So it was clear that it was ended too early for most people involved. Anyways, um, but like I've was perfect, and then like Won Young was like the center of I've, and then I mean, uh, no, was the center of I's one, and then like I've happened, and basically Itzy and Won Young and I've were leading fourth gen. Like, Espa hit next level, but it was still hit or miss with a lot of the other singles. You know what I'm saying? Like, Espa did their job as SM employees with next level. And solidified themselves as, like, a central base within Gen 4. But most of Gen 4 people were talking about Won Young, her outfits, her members, and hating on Itzy. Even though Itzy, Itzy is the most consistent group to come out of the gen, like out of the fourth generation, and even in the fifth generation, Itzy is the most consistent group in the fifth generation, the fourth generation, and JYP besides twice. Respect Itzy. I don't even listen to their music that much. I don't, but their singles are consistent. Their quality is consistent. And even if, like, some of it is kind of kitty, like, what did you expect with the concept that they started out with? And at JYP. We have been following this company for too long. We saw what they did with Twice's concept. It went from, like, playfully cute to Coco Melon music within a year and a half. What did you think was going to happen with Itzy? Why are we surprised by sneakers? I'm going to continue this in part two.